Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we have a really special treat for you. My good friend and coworker Jennifer used Shelf Help, my case furniture designer that I use to design all of my furniture and built this amazing project. I can't wait to share it with you. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm excited to be visiting Anna's channel again this week. Uh, before I get into the build, I just want to show you the three parts that make up this almost 10 foot long breakfast bar. Okay, so the first part of this build are these carts. And I just put all of my small appliances in there, crock pots, toasters, uh, Instapots, air fryer, blender, things like that. So these carts hold all of those things so they're easy to just pull out set on the counter, plug in. So there are two carts, one at each end. So you can turn them around so they look finished. Or if you're using them, put them this side out so you can access everything easily. And when you're done, just flip them around. The second part is this middle section, which is just a console. It's a four foot console. I put adjustable shelves in there with shelf pins. Um, I sized it for the refrigerator. So when I was designing it on Shelf Help, I knew the refrigerator I ordered would fit. Super easy. One tower, here's a second tower, and then I just put a bottom shelf on it for the fridge to sit on it and use base supports to put it together. The very last part are these two ends. There's just a blank on each end, which I'll show you in the build process. So there's one here and there's one at the other end which spans about 30 inches for the bar part carts to slide under. And that's it. So you have the carts, the middle console, and the end uh, leg, if you will. And then I just bought a countertop, I cut it down to size, and it works perfectly. So um, this is about 16 inches wide by almost 10 feet long. And it is working great for us. We've been using it for about a month and a half now. So I'm going to show you how I built it. We're living in a rental and I have limited storage in the kitchen, but across from the kitchen is a wall. It's kind of a continuous hallway. So I knew I needed to design something low profile. I'm a visual person, so I tape the basic size and design. I'm hoping to add a TV so that I can cook with Anna's new channel. So I got busy in shelf help. And since this is a larger project, as I mentioned, I broke it into three parts, the carts, the middle console for the fridge section, and then the two ends, and that's how I did it. Once all of the pieces got there, I went ahead and pre-painted them. This took two coats. And once they were dry, I just put them in piles as the parts that they were part of. So something that's really cool about Shelf Help is it comes with these diagrams that are very handy when you're building. So I put a bunch of pocket holes in the, in the uh, bottom shelf of the carts. I probably overdid it a little bit, but I wanted that to be super strong. I'm not using glue here just because, um, you know, I may take these apart sometime and, and repurpose them or use them in a different way. But so far they're holding up great and we've put a lot of weight on them as you saw. So I'm just adding some holes for shelf pins. This is my first time using this jig, it was super easy. Now the shelves I ordered from Shelf Help, I haven't cut them down at all, so they're a little bit tight. So if I am moving them a bunch, I'll probably uh, rip this down about an eighth of an inch so it's easier to move. And then you just wanna add a base support at the back for extra support. So that's the basic shape of the cart. I'm gonna add some casters and a back. Okay. 
I wanted to add a fun design element here with this sort of planked sheet. So I just set some 2x4s on my work surface to make the cutting easier. And then I'm just going to nail it on. So I bought some trim. I just got some corner trim and some flat trim that's I think an eighth of an inch thick to finish it out. And I'm just nailing this on as well. So I'm gonna cut the top. I found these, these are for a closet, but I wanted to add a finished top to it and put some poly on it. So I'm gonna cut these now and get them finished so they can be drying while I build the rest of it. And when I did my planning, I accounted for the thickness of these to slide under the countertop. So there's a lot of things you need to think about when you're designing these little things. You don't want to get to the end and say, oh my gosh, it doesn't fit. So you really have to do some planning to make sure everything's going to fit correctly. All of those nail holes, I'm just going to fill and get them drying while I start on the next part. For the middle console, it's just basically two towers. I needed to figure out uh, where I wanted to place that bottom shelf. I decided to just place it about an inch and a half up so that I could trim it out with a one by two. And I'm also making uh, these shelves adjustable. Now when you're doing this, and if you use shelf help, you want to make sure that your finished edge, which is edge band, is, is facing out. So this is one tower, and then we're just adding base supports to the top and to the back. And we're going to build two of these for that middle console portion. And I'm just using uh, one by three furring strips here for the base supports. And I'm using a one by two to measure up that bottom section with the, where the fridge will sit. And we're just gonna attach the two towers with base supports and that bottom shelf. Super simple. Okay, so here's the moment of truth to make sure the mini fridge fits. And it does. Hooray! That always feels good. He's a good dancer. So I'm just sort of placing everything so I can figure out how far these end legs need to be out. And once I figure that out, I just cut some more furring strips. So that's one side done, and then I just need to do this other side, and then we're finishing it up. I found that breaking it up into three parts made it less intimidating.
So here is the basic frame and structure of this entire thing. And then I'm just gonna finish everything off by giving it a good sanding and painting those areas that were filled. And then I'm using another tool here by Craig to install the handles. Had a little spacer up top there to make sure that they were all in the right spot. And then I'm just gonna screw these countertops in from underneath. These and the main one that is gonna go across the entire thing. So this countertop came with these ends that are self-adhesive. So you just peel the back off and basically push them on. And that's it. So here's all the appliances sitting on my counter. I wanted to see how many I could fit in the carts, and guess what? I fit them all. It was awesome. I was so excited. Such a feeling of accomplishment. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm calling this my coffee bar pantry. My shelf help has really given me the confidence to build more professional looking furniture like this. So I just want to tell Anna, thank you for providing that service. Of course, you could cut your own plywood and have the same result. If you do build it, please tag Anna White and shelf help. And until next time, we'll see you later.